Hi, my name is Morgan Hardy and I'm an assistant professor of economics at NYU Abu Dhabi. So generally my research focuses on um, private enterprise development in low-income countries. So particularly like I'm interested in understanding uh, how to raise the kind of average income of the average Ghanaian living here in Ghana. So for example, right now this week I'm here in Ghana launching a survey that focuses on labor market outcomes and also general well-being of uh, approximately 4,000 youth that are living all over Ghana. So there's a, a lot of unemployment, particularly among the youth. Uh, one thing, you could call it good, call it bad, uh, African nations like Ghana have large numbers of very young people, fewer old people. And so the young people coming into the job market are finding it hard to find jobs. And so the unemployment is really among that group, that cohort. The economy hasn't been moving as fast as population growth, particularly of the young. So the government came up with this program where they would recruit youth that were in this situation. Their parents, they can't uh, afford to pay the apprenticeship fee. Then they decide who should be eligible for this program. If there's more people that are eligible for the program than there are slots, which in our case was true, then they select by, by lottery who can get in and who can't because then it's fair. But also for us, it means that we can study the effect of the program because like in medicine, you end up with a random treatment group and a random control group. And then any difference between the treatment group and the control group should be due to the program because the only difference is that one did the program and one didn't. So we've done this baseline survey now here, five years later, we're going back and we're surveying all of these 4,000 youth again. In like a couple of decades ago, all the surveys of this, uh, actually even up till just a few years ago, they were all done on paper, for instance. But now, uh, you know, I program them on the computer and then it gets sent to the servers and then they get downloaded on tablets. And that way, uh, when a surveyor goes out and they ask somebody questions about um, their experiences with the apprenticeship program and how that's affecting their lives. That's all done electronically now, so there's a lot of safe paper, uh, there's much less manual data entry, and it makes the whole process a lot more efficient. I think sometimes in rich countries, like, you, the variables are more reliably moving around, so like in Ghana you just have a lot more surprises, so you need to, to optimize more frequently and a lot more creatively. So I always train my surveyors, I try and tell them, your job is to be as unbiased and as blank slate vessel for me. You're my eyes and ears in the field. You're going to be collecting this data for me from these people. You have to be personable. You have to be non-judgmental. You have to make a safe space for the respondent to give the correct information. And you own those surveys in the sense that it's your job to know that when I'm looking on my computer later, I'm only going to see the number five. You hear their whole story, I'm only going to see the number five. And so you, you, you don't make up answers, you don't push the number up just because you think it should be more, you don't push the number down, you try and get their truth, and exactly their truth, and nothing but their truth. I think the hardest thing is getting at the, the, like the real accurate measurement of the data you need because there's you know, all these uh, things that can come up to make the data you get either uh, you know, inaccurate or missing or things like that. So, I, I mean, it starts with uh, the questions themselves. They have to be phrased in the right way to be, uh, you know, clear of what's going on. The big takeaway is that the government of Ghana can look at the results from this randomized control trial to figure out if apprenticeship training to say senior high school or uh, university participation to try and figure out how it can best invest resources to direct the growth of the Ghanaian economy. When choosing NYU Abu Dhabi, I was looking for an education that was going to provide me with an experience and I think that having a taste of how the world outside classes looks like, I think that that's the most valuable gift any student can have. I'm in this career because I want to create new knowledge, but I also think that disseminating knowledge is really important, and I think that, that a, popul a population as diverse and as earnest and as like motivated to change the world as like the student body at NYU Abu Dhabi is a great population where to realize some of our ideas that we wouldn't otherwise be able to implement. I like that a lot.